Today we're going to be cutting this cast aluminum plate um, 12 inches long by 2 and 3 quarter inches wide and 1 inch thick and we're basically going to be sizing the 1 inch down to 25 millimeters which is 0.984 inches and I'm going to use a sharpie in the spindle here and show you what happening with this plate. I, I like to do this on complicated parts. This part's not complicated, but this will give you a visual idea of what's going on. see we have a connector plate and uh, basically what's happening with this part you have four counterboard holes for quarter 20 socket head screws and then the dotted line represents an undercut that goes on the bottom of the plate and basically that's used for mounting two rails together that have a threaded hole in them so we're going to get set up and this material is kind of on the gummy side um, it's a cast aluminum plate and little bit tricky to get an excellent finish on it, but definitely doable with the Suburban Tool fly cutters. Okay, we're getting ready to do our fly cuts on this plate. There's going to be two, one on the top and one, uh, one on each side for an undercut. And what's nice about the way we're doing it is you've got milling on both sides. You've got the counterboard and drill poles that have to be done from the top. Then you've got that undercut, which needs to be done on the bottom, and we're going to save time by doing it all in one operation. And uh, also going to give us extreme flatness between the top of the plate and those undercuts, and uh, that's what's required for this part. So we've got the 11-inch bar set up in the spindle, and believe it or not, both of these tools will fit in the tool holder. We've got the 7.5-inch bar, the tool changer, I should say. We've got the seven and a half inch bar uh, set up to do the undercuts and that's set up upside down and when you run the cutter upside down you have to run it in reverse so here we go we're going to take a ten thou rough cut on the top and a five thousandths finish cut cut is going to be 40 thousandths of an inch deep.
40 thousandths of an inch cut, and then we're going to take a finished cut on each one. That's going to be 7 thousandths of an inch. Now this material is kind of gummy, so you occasionally get a little bit of fuzz. They're actually, you really can't see that um, or feel it. But uh, we can take some red scotch bright and hit it. And it'll look perfect. And then we've got our undercut. completed that all in one operation we can put our counterboard holes in there and that part's done Okay, our plate is done. It's about 30 seconds of deburring, maybe a little bit longer. Some scotch brite on the top just to smooth things out a little bit. And those are our undercuts. <clears throat> Guaranteed to be extremely flat to the top surface. <laughs> 